All right, so I buy a lot of things on AliExpress, and if you don't know what AliExpress is, it's basically just like the Chinese version of Amazon. Has a lot of good stuff, has a lot of bad stuff. I'm gonna go through probably my worst purchase ever. Now these are my super light handlebars that I use for hill climbs. Now they're pretty expensive, they're about 100 quid, but all together, so bar and stem weigh like 260 grams, which if you know anything about bike, uh, about stem weights and handlebar weights, that's super light, especially when they're integrated. For reference, like a Vision one would be like 400 grams, and like even, an AliExpress, but more legit brand would be like 400 grams. Um, now these are sort of similar to another brand that you may recognize, uh, the Big S. Um, but anyway, they're, they're similar but different. These are actually 38 centimeters wide, which is um, you know decent for me. I quite like 38s or 36s, so it's quite hard to find light versions of them. Now, why are they bad? Um, well, first of all, they're not, they're, the first issue is this. So you see where the clamp is supposed to be on the, for the shifters is so far down. like. It's actually a joke, like how far down it is compared to what you'd expect it to be. So that was the first issue. So you don't, for me at least, I didn't actually clamp on this part here, which is already quite worrying because, you know, these are like bars, you know, don't really have too much safety aspect. So you're like, okay, that's not great. Uh, number two, they, they seem a bit wide. They're not actually, they're like 38s, but a little bit wider, but that's not too big of an issue. The next issue is probably what you can see here, which is my super glued aspect. Now they have one bolt. So this is again, like the, the mount is bought is a 3D printed one that's basically made for the same legit bars, um, the Alpinista things. And basically this is like when I put some uh, like lock tight on the screw, uh, it was stronger than the epoxy holding the bolt in. So basically I had to super glue it in. So that was quite annoying. I wasn't a massive fan of it. Um, so yeah, that, that wasn't great. Um, but the biggest issue is just the flex. The flex is like, I'm not really strong enough to flex it like in the bar itself, like just the, like this, but when they're in the handlebars and like they're clamped here, the flex is absolutely unbelievable. Um, and I think that's the biggest issue. Like they're just really, really flexy. Um, and I mean, it's okay for hill climbs. Like I didn't mind racing on them, but like descending on them, when you like lean on them, they're not good. So what are my conclusions? Well, I don't, I now have just AliExpress carbon handlebars, not integrated bar and stem. Um, and again, they're a little bit flexible, they're sort of okay, and there's less issues. And I think the main issue is like trying to get it super light, but then also have this bit, the bond here. I don't think you can really do it. So my conclusion would be probably don't buy super light AliExpress carbon handlebar integrated bar and stem. I think if you just buy a heavier one, it's probably okay. Um, but altogether, there's a bit of a ball because if you do crash on them, it's a bit worrying about them. But yeah, so that'll be my conclusions is for AliExpress, I reckon these bars that are super, super light, I wouldn't recommend. If I were you, I'd just get like a really light stem and then a really light handlebar just on its own. I think that's probably safer, probably better, and it also allows you more adjustment. Maybe the aesthetics aren't quite as good, but in my opinion, um, yeah, I wouldn't, wouldn't be buying these handlebars. Um, but yeah, apart from that, the drops were a quite nice feel um, and all the rest of it, like the ergonomics were good, but yeah would not be buying again anytime soon. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoy. If you've got any more AliExpress questions, let me know. Uh, I'm a big AliExpress wizard. Uh, buy a lot of my parts from AliExpress. Um, I know what's good. I know what's bad. Um, so I'll probably make some more videos on it uh, in the future.